there, I'm KJ Walker from Decentraland and Low Poly Models World, and today we're going to take a look at the 3D essentials for building in DCL. So let's get into it. Each land is 16 by 16 meters, and you can build up to 20 meters high. If you're developing more than one parcel, you can build higher than 20 meters. There are limits on the amount of things you can put in a scene, because all of the content is downloaded in real time and it can be quite heavy on performance. So each parcel can hold a maximum of 10,000 triangles. Those are the bits that make up 3D models. And for each extra parcel, you can add another 10,000 triangles. As for data, up to 15 megabytes can be uploaded to each land, and for each extra parcel, you can upload another 15 megabytes. The amount of materials and textures a scene can hold is a bit more tricky to calculate. To give you an idea, one parcel can hold 20 materials and 10 textures, two parcels can hold 32 materials and 16 textures, and 10 parcels can hold 69 materials and 35 textures. There's a handy reference table with these limitations that you can find linked down in the box below. Now let's take a look at which 3D files can be read by Decentraland. There are two supported formats, GLB and GLTF, though GLB files are usually recommended because they're lighter. If you have a 3D model in a different format, you can use the software Blender to import the file and then export it as a GLB or GLTF. When exporting models for Decentraland, make sure to check the origin point in Blender first. That's the orange dot. You want this to be in the center of 3D space. If it isn't, you can move it there by setting the origin to the 3D cursor. Afterwards, set the model's scale, position and rotation and apply all transforms. You can do this by selecting the items you want to export, pressing Ctrl and A and selecting Apply all transforms. If your 3D cursor is not in the center of space, you can put it back there by pressing Shift S and selecting Cursor to World Origin. Doing this sets the origin point of your model to the coordinate 000 in 3D space and will avoid problems later on. For example, if you put a model in a scene via the builder or the SDK and it turns red, either the model is bigger than the land or the origin point is not at 000 in 3D space. There are two approaches to putting a model in a scene. One is via the builder, and the other is via the SDK or software development kit. To upload a model to the builder, click on the plus icon to create a new asset pack, and drag and drop your GLBs or GLTFs into the box. You can review and name the items before getting to work. And don't worry, only you can see these files. Then navigate to your new asset pack and click on your model or drag it into the scene. Once you like the size and position, you can click on the eye icon to preview your model. To preview a model via the SDK, you'll need to set up a few things on your computer if you haven't done this sort of thing before. You can find a link with further information on that in the box below. Once everything is set up, you want to create a new empty folder on your computer and navigate to it using the terminal or command line. Run DCL init in the project folder to generate a default Decentraland scene. Now open the folder, create a new folder inside called Models, and put your GLBs or GLTFs inside. Then open the SRC folder and look for game.ts. Open the file with a code editor such as Visual Studio Code, remove the default code and replace it with something like this. Save the file and go back to the command line or terminal and run DCL start. This will open a new browser window with your scene. Another way to check whether your GLBs have been exported correctly is to try and open them in sandbox.babylon.js. If they load correctly and aren't too high poly, they will most likely also work in Decentraland. Those are the 3D essentials for Decentraland. If you'd like to learn more about building for Decentraland, you can take a look at this playlist. I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please put them in the comments section below. Check out the box below for links to relevant documentation and feel free to visit my website, Low Poly Models World.